This is Don Paul with Houston Style Magazine, and we are here with the founder of Survivors with Voices, Miss Alyssa R. Jones. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? You got so many titles: author, motivational speaker, wife, mother, woman of God. Now, how are you feeling? This is the first conference, right? Yes, I feel good. I feel good that I did it. You know, so many people told me I couldn't do it. So many people told me that I wasn't going to make it. And to be here at this conference and seeing so many people get touched yeah. and removing the bandage, yeah. it's really good. Now, how did you come up with the title for the theme this year? Removing the bandage? Because I had to remove my bandage. <laughs> I mean, that was a simple thing to do because when people are unlocking their voice and they're standing up telling their testimony, they are. They're yeah. removing the bandage of all those wounds that, that they went through. I want one thing, it, you know, because we've gotten so much from these testimonial speakers, but what is one thing you want all these attendees, when they get out of this room, take it to their car, take it to their families, what do you want them to do? I want them to remove the bandage, but not only that, look at it as a new beginning. A new beginning to just erase all the past mistakes, all the past hurt that you have went through. Just to start over and know that you can live life again, that there is life after abuse, there is life after travesties, and you can just move forward in life and enjoy it. And now we are here with one of the speakers, Miss Marita Kenny. How are you? Good. Good. Now, I like what you said about People would judge you thinking everything's great yeah. when you were speaking. They saw the, the beautiful girl, beautiful clothes, beautiful family. But talk about how we shouldn't judge people because everybody's going through something, right? Absolutely. Everybody has a story. And the thing of it is everybody's story is different, but everybody has one. And we can all learn from, it's like one person's strength is another person's weakness. And so, you know, what my strength is, I might be able to empower you. So that, you know, so that you can get that strength. So it's important that we share our story. But also, don't take it personal when people judge you. Because they don't know. It's like they really don't know. So you just kind of brush it off and, and say, you know, but if you only knew my story. Right. If you only knew my story, you would understand my strength. Right. You would understand who I am. You understand why I do the things that I do. You know, so it's a matter of just them not knowing. So I have to just learn not to take it personal, say they have no idea, and smile. And then once you have the opportunity to build a relationship with them so that you can share your story, the look on the face is priceless. And they feel so bad for prejudging. And you just give them a hug and say, I love you. Forgiveness. Forgiveness. Thank you so much. And thank you for sharing. I'm telling you, uh, survivors with voices, we're not done. We got more to come. Thank you.